Hello everyone and welcome to Bell Explains. In this video, I will be explaining 1.4, positive and negative decimals. Let's get to it. Compare and arrange each of the following in ascending order. Ascending means smallest to largest. So let's do 1a. So here we'll find the smallest number to be negative 1.48. Following that, we have negative 1.23, negative 0 0.034, 0 0.34, 0 0.34 and 1.034. For B, we have the smallest number here at negative 1.654. Following that, we have negative 1.546, negative 1.456, positive 1.456, and 1.564. Okay, next, compare and arrange each of the following in descending order. Descending means largest number to smallest number. So let's find the biggest number here, 2.522. Following that, we have 2.452. Then we have negative 2.005, negative 2.052, and finally 2.505, which means this is the largest number and this is the smallest number. B, let's find the biggest number here, 0 0.621. Then we have 0 0.065, then we have negative 0 0.068 to negative 0 0.639 and lastly negative 0 0.647 okay next let's do self-practice 1.4c evaluate each of the following so 4.7 minus 7.8 times 0 0.3 so using the bot mass rule, we will have to do the multiplication operation first. So that will give us 4.7 minus 7.8 times 0 0.3. That gives us 2.34. So doing this gives us 4.7 minus negative minus 2.34. That gives us um, the answer which is 2.36. You, you all can do this in your calculator. You don't have to do it manually. Okay, moving on to B. We have 8.36 plus 3.89 divide by negative 0 0.28. So here, according to the botmas rule, we'll have to do what is in within the bracket first. So here we have a bracket. Now let's do an addition of 8.36 plus 3.89, that gives us a value of 12.25, divide by negative 0 0.28. So let's put that in our calculators, 12.25, divide negative 0 0.28, which gives us a value of negative 43.75. Let's do C, negative 3.48, plus 7.36 plus 1.24 times 0 0.6. So here, let's do the bracket operations first. We have 7.36 plus 1.24, that gives us 8.6. So negative 3.48 plus 8.6 times 0 0.6. So here we have 8.6 times 0 0.6 that gives us 5.16, negative 3.48 plus 5.16, which gives us 1.68. Next, let's do D, 0 0.36 minus negative 8.67, 
divide by negative 0 0.3 plus 0 0.82. Okay, so for here, let's do the division operation first. We'll have 0 0.36 minus negative negative gives us positive. So 8.67 divided by 0 0.3 gives us a value of 28.9 plus 0 0.82. So here we have negative and positive, so that gives us a negative. So we have 0 0.36 minus, neg minus 28.9 plus 0 0.82. Put this in your calculator and you'll get an answer of 0 0.36 minus 28.9 plus 0 0.82 and that gives us negative 27.72. Okay, so next we're going to do E. Negative 2.65 minus fraction of 1.44 1.44 over negative 1.2 plus 3.22. Okay, so here we have negative and negative that gives us a positive. So negative 2.65 plus 1.44 over 1.2, 1.44 over 1.2 plus 3.22. And that will give us a value of, put it in your calculator and you'll get negative 2.65 plus 1.44 over 1.2 and plus by 3.22, which gives us 1.77. Okay, and lastly, F, 2.34 plus 3.1 times negative 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2. We'll do the multiplication first. So we have 3.1 times negative 0 0.1, which gives us 0 0.31, 0.34, positive, negative, you get negative, 0 0.31 plus 0 0.2. So put it in your calculator and you'll get 2.34 minus 0 0.31 plus 0 0.2. And that gives us 2.23. I'll practice 1.4D. Aisha bought a shirt for RM 1990 and two pairs of long trousers of the same price. When she paid RM55 to the cashier, she was told that the amount was not enough. So Aisha then paid another RM10 and received a change of RM5.40. Calculate the price of a pair of long trousers that she bought. Okay, so here we have Aisha bought 1990 and two pairs of trousers. Okay, so now Aisha pays RM65, RM55, and RM10 because it wasn't enough. So altogether we have RM65. Okay, and then she gets a balance of 5 ringgit and 40 cents. So Aisha paid RM65 for a t-shirt of 1990 and a pair of two two pairs of trousers two t, and then she got a balance of five ringgit forty cents so now to calculate the price of the trousers we have to move the two t to one side and all the whole numbers to the other side all the all the numbers to the other side so here we have rm 65 minus 1990 minus five ringgit forty cents for two trousers so here we have two trousers equals to Put it in your calculator as 65 minus 1990 minus 5 ringgit 40 cents. Here we have 39 ringgit and 70 cents. However, for the price of one trousers, we have to divide this number by 2. And that gives us a value of 19 ringgit and 85 cents. Make sure to put the unit Average temperature in Kuala Lumpur was 30.5 degrees Celsius on a certain day. The average temperature then rose by 1.8 degrees Celsius every day for two consecutive days and then dropped by 1.3 degrees Celsius every day for another three consecutive days. Calculate the average temperature in Kuala Lumpur during those five days. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So in the first two days, the temperature was going up. 
So we have 30.5 plus 1.8 degrees Celsius, which will give us 32.3 plus another 1.8, which will give us 34.1. And then for the next three days, the temperature was going down. So from the average, we have 30.5 minus 1.3, which will give us 29.2. For Thursday, we have 27.9 and for Friday, we have 26.6. So in order to calculate the average, we'll have to plus all of these together. And then divide it by 5 to get the average. So here we have 30.02 degrees Celsius. Next, Ramesh bought 63 oranges for RM3465. Okay. The oranges were packed in small packets with three oranges in each packet. So, which means we have how many packets? 21 packets. Calculate the price Ramesh sold for each packet of oranges if he had incurred a loss of 1995. Since we now know that we have 21 packets, to know the price for each, pa each packet here, we will have to divide 34.65 with 21 and that will give us 1 ringgit 65 cents per packet. If he had incurred a loss of 1995, For 21 packets, that would mean that he sold each packet, at z which means that he had a loss of 0 0.95 cents per packet. So in order to know the price that he sold the packet at, it would be 1.65 minus 0 0.95, and that would give us 70 cents, which means he only sold the packet for 70 cents, although he bought those packets at 1 ringgit 65 cents. B. If he had made a profit of RM 51.45 for 21 packets, which means he's, he made a profit for each packet at 2 ringgit 45 cents. We do not know how much he sold the packet for. Okay, so we have to add 2 ringgit 45 cents and 1 ringgit 65 cents. 1 ringgit 65 because he bought the packet at 1 ringgit and 65 cents, which means he sold the packet at 4 ringgit and 10 cents. A fish is at 1.3 meters below sea level, while a bird is at 4.32 meters above sea level. So here we have negative 1.34 meter. There is a fish and a bird is flying at 4.32 meters. A turtle is below sea level at a vertical distance that is twice the distance between the fish and the bird. So next, let's calculate the distance between the fish and the bird. B 4.32 minus negative 13.4 and that will give us is 5.66. And since it is twice the distance, that means we will have to times this whole thing by 2. That will give us 11.32. Next, calculate the vertical distance between the bird and the turtle. So, since the turtle is right down here, negative 11.32, there is a turtle. That would mean 4.32 minus negative 11.32. That will give us 15.64 meters.